In this video for Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition HVAC Modeling, we'll take a look at how we can apply clear opening parameters and model insulation and lining for our ductwork. I'm in my model here. I'll zoom out some. Come back over to this area of my model. Let me rotate to my front left isometric rotation, and I'll place some ductwork, come to the mechanical tab, go to the duct tool. I'll set my catalog item to duct rectangular. See my family in part is set to duct supply new. I'll set a base offset, let's say of 12 feet. And in order to take advantage of that, I'll turn on my ACS plane and ACS plane snap locks. In the property panel, we see how we have our duct width and depth, but we also have clear opening width and depth. As I change these numbers to adjust the size of my duct, Notice how the clear opening parameters simply follow the width and depth. That's because I haven't assigned a lining value to the duct. You see, we have a section here called parameters, and the lining thickness right now is set to zero. If I set a value for this lining thickness, I'll set it to two inches. Now we do have some other lining properties here. I'll select this fiberglass duct liner for the material. Now, since there's a value assigned to the lining thickness, you'll notice the clear opening parameters are different from the width and depth parameters. So in this case, if I change my width, notice it's not allowing me to change it because the size is being controlled by the clear opening now. So I'll come down to the clear opening, say I adjust that, and the software is calculating the fact that I have a lining and it's assigning the width and depth for me. So I'll come out to my model and just place some of this ductwork here. I'll resize it some. Again, by using the clear opening parameters. I'll maybe go off at an angle here. And if I get zoomed in here, I'll reset completely out of the tool. I see that I've got that lining modeled with my ductwork. So if we've got a clear opening that we need to take into account during our modeling, we can utilize that lining, the clear opening parameters to model our ductwork. Now we do have a tool that we can apply lining and insulation after we've got duct modeled. So if I'll come over in my model here to where I've got some duct modeled, did in a previous exercise, and in my mechanical tab, my place mechanical systems group, notice we have this tool called insulate route. So if I choose that tool, my prompt says select first component. I'll select this rectangular duct here. Then we get presented with the insulation lining settings. So it shows me some path information here. I'll set my insulation thickness to be a half inch. Set my lining thickness. Again, to be a half inch. Notice we have that insulation material and then we have our lining material properties here that we can select. I'll choose the crown universal slab for the insulation. I'll leave it at crown, acoustic duct liner. 
And then we can utilize our part settings. So I'll go ahead and leave that on. You know, that will define the level and color that the components will be modeled on. And we see there's our insulation part. I don't want it to be curtain wall. Let's set this to insulation. And then the part I'll set to insulation glass wool. And then I'll say apply. Notice how my duct in that run of ductwork here now has insulation on it. I see that it has that different color. So that's a half inch of insulation added to it. We go ahead and rotate our view around. Go dynamically here. Get zoomed in here. I see that it also has a lining applied to it. So insulate route is a utility we have where we can add this after we've modeled our ductwork. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.